Super. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. I don't, I'm not going to say I'm a pro, but okay. Hey guys, Justin Brock here with the Medicare Gurus. Um, some of you know me from different ways, but I'm trying to bring more and more people that bring value to the group and to the YouTube page and, and all of that so that we can help more agents succeed in the final expense and Medicare space. So, uh, or the entire senior market, if you will. So, uh, right now I have Lee Mowry with me, who is the new president of One Life America, uh, which is partnered with uh, Heartland Financial Group. And uh, we've done a lot of business with Heartland. They were now doing some business with One Life. And uh, I'm really excited about Lee because we've come across each other's past several times in the past couple of years, and uh, he's always been really cool. And, and I think that uh, this is going to be a really good fit. It's going to be nothing but great for the agent community that's involved with One Life. So, uh, just wanted to take a minute and thank you for doing this. You know, real quick little interview. And, oh, Justin, my pleasure. Absolutely. Yeah, man. So, uh, first thing I'll say about Lee, um, you know, and I'm not going to give a proper introduction, but Lee has been in the industry for 49 years. Almost 49 years. Almost 49 years, and in that time. He has, he, he brings such a unique perspective to one life and the industry because he has been in everybody's shoes, basically. I mean, he's been with carriers, he's been an independent agent, um, and he has been with IMOs, and he's done all of those in multiple capacities within each of those. So uh, that's really cool, and I think it really is going to help one life because he can, you know, uh, feel the needs of everybody involved in the partnerships. Uh, that we all partake in daily. So, how do you think that you know influences you, your your ability to help people in multiple situations? And Justin, I think it really makes a lot of sense to have been there and walked in the shoes of these agents because when I started in the business in 1970 as an agent, I didn't know anything about this business like many young agents don't today. I was fortunate to have a good mentor, a good manager, and I've had good mentors throughout my entire career. But I started as an agent, as you said. I ended up, became, ended up became, becoming a sales manager at Metropolitan Life, 1970, almost 49 years ago. And then worked my way into a regional position uh, with a couple of companies and then formed my own IMO. So I built an IMO in Atlanta before I went into home office work. So I feel like I've seen the business from both sides. Uh, therefore, I believe I can understand agents' problems more. You have a lot of home office people, no reflection and nothing against them, that have never been in the field. They never really had to live on commission or have bad underwriting or situations happen. I think I can feel for that because I had that, I lived it. So I think it does help to have been there, had a perspective that's different than maybe some of the people in the home office. So I look forward to working with every agent out there that we can help. Yeah, I think it's, it's great because when you think about an IMO, uh, you know, a lot of people call it a middleman, if you will, but the, the, all the things that go into that, you know, in my dealings with with, uh, with marketing organizations, IMOs, NMOs, FMOs, whatever you call them, um, you know, ones like One Life and HFG and, and large organizations like that for taking, dealing with the agent's day-to-day -day problems and then taking that feedback to the carriers and working on product development, streamlining their processes, and by virtue of having feedback from tons of agents and agencies, they're able to, to channel that direct and, and make a lot of progress in those ways. So, uh, I'm really excited about your involvement because, you know, when, a lot of times you see an agency that is responsible for doing that, like Heartland, uh, and, and maybe they are thinking more like an IMO sometimes, but if you have somebody that's done every step, that's, that's going to be a great thing. So I, I'm really excited about that. I'm excited about the, 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 uh, the history that you bring to the table. Um, and I think uh, just from talking this weekend here at, uh, at the, uh, the Grove Park Inn, I'll right. get that right, um, that, uh, that it's going to help us evolve our life insurance side and annuity side because we do a little bit of that, but we don't do enough. And I think we're going to do more. I'm really excited about One Life helping us with that and Lee helping us with that. So um, what do you see for you know the next few years at One Life? What Do you see any kind of specific growth that you guys are going to focus on that maybe people would be interested to know? Well, I think that it, uh, One Life and Heartland together as a team make it a, an excellent combination because One Life has one of the best records in history, in our industry, in the life insurance side. We'll do close to $100 million of life premium this year. It's crazy. Meanwhile, our partner at Heartland Financial Group and our parent company is one of the leaders in the development and the sale of Medicare Supplement and Medicare Advantage. 
and those markets go so well together in the senior market, which is our primary space. Right. Although we are now expanding out. You ask about other areas, we're heavily now into the mortgage term marketplace where we're doing a lot of business. Yeah. We're already developing two or three other products right now that are still kind of a top secret yeah. that we'll be introducing in early 2020, okay. which I think will be exciting for the field. But I think the future right now, and you and I were talking about this, this is the best time ever to be in the insurance business. For a new agent to get in this business right now, or an existing agent, there's no more exciting time than to be here. And with the partnership we've got with Harlem Financial, it is just un there's no telling what the, the future will be with the two of us working together. Yeah. I completely agree. Um, I see you know, there are things that sometimes I get privileged to that I, I, I'm not supposed to say as well, and then even more so at y'all's level. But the things that I have seen and uh, the progress that I've seen uh, coming forward with product development, commissions, the market itself, um, there really is no excuse not to uh, be able to grow a really successful agency right now. People from all different personalities and all different backgrounds, whether they had a, you know, starting at this level, this level, or this level, there's there's growth opportunity, and uh, I, I completely agree. You know, I, I think it's really going places, and uh, I think One Life and Heartland are going to be a huge piece of that puzzle right now. I would finish up by saying this, and you heard me say it last night to a group. We're here at the Grove Park Inn in North Carolina. 49 years ago, the first place I ever went as an agent that I qualified for a little sales contest yeah. was the Grove Park Inn. Really? Never would I dream that in 49 years I would end up as president and CEO of a large marketing organization like One Life America. One of the largest. <laughs> One of the largest in the country. Started as an agent right here in Grove Park and here we are again. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. It's a beautiful place here. If you haven't been, you really need to check it out. Well, I'm not going to take any more time. I know you got dinner reservations and my wife's going to kill me if I don't get a glass of wine back to her. So uh, we're really enjoying ourselves here. Hope, uh, you know, in future events like this, some of you can make it out. Some of you that actually follow are here with us. I won't name drop any of them, but I appreciate it, Lee. Thank Justin, you so what much. What a pleasure as always. Yeah. We'll be seeing each other soon, I'm sure. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Thank Lee. Thanks.